Dear students, under the topic project network, here we have a problem. So draw the following project network. So the activities are given and the and its predecessors are given. So now let us draw the network diagram. First step is we have to decide which are the starting activities. And the second step is we have to decide which are the ending activities. The starting activities will not have a predecessor. So if you see activity A is the starting activity. So there is no predecessor for this. So this is the only activity which is the starting activity. Remaining all has the predecessors. So they cannot be the starting activities. So we have decided the starting activity. Next we have to decide the ending activity for which we have to check which activity is not a predecessor. So A, uh, B is here, C is here, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H and then we don't have the activity I and G. The activities are from A to J. So if we check in the predecessor list, we don't have the activity I and the activity J which means that activity I and the activity J. So both the activities are the end activities. So A is the starting activity and the activity I and activity J are the ending activities. So now after making this decision, let us start to draw the network diagram for which first we have to draw the starting activity. So the starting activity is A. So it is the only activity which is the starting activity. So we can just draw a single line like this. So this is activity A. So we are done with this activity. So after completing just make a tick mark so that we will know that we have completed it. Next we have the activity B. So now if you see the activity preceded with B is the activity A. So A is preceded by I mean B is preceded by the activity A. And we can also see that C is preceded by A, D is preceded by A and E is also preceded by A. So we can draw all the activities B, C, D and E simultaneously from A. So all these are emanating from A. So let me draw that. So first I am drawing the activity B. So this is activity B. Next we have the activity C. So this is C. Then we have the activity D. So this is activity D. And then finally we are having the activity E which I will draw like this. Okay. So this is activity E. Always draw a rough diagram first. Then we can make a fair diagram. So we have drawn activity B is completed, uh, C is completed, D is completed and also E is completed. So activity A, B, C, D, E are completed. Next we have to move on to the activity F. So while drawing F, if we see E is preceded by F. So uh, the uh, F has to start from here. So this should be the starting point for F because E is the predecessor of F. Then what we should do, we have to check whether F has appeared in this list along with any other activity which has been previously completed. So F if we check in this list it has appeared here but it has appeared along with the activity G which is not yet completed. So we need not worry about it now. So we can draw the activity F right away from activity E. So F em is em uh, emanates from activity E. So let me draw it like this. So this is activity F. So the activity F is completed. Next we have the activity G. So uh, the predecessor of G is the activity D. So if you see here this is activity D. That is uh, it. Uh, the starting point of activity G should be this. Then what we should do we should check in this list whether G has appeared along with, uh, with the activity which has been previously completed. So if we check G has appeared here 
and it has appeared along with f which has been previously completed so the end node of f will become the end node of g also because it has appeared along with an activity which has been previously completed so the starting point of g will be here that is d is the predecessor so it will start from here and it will end uh, in the uh, with the end node of f so where is the end node of f it is here so this is the ending node so like this we have to draw the activity uh, g i'm sorry uh, yes g only so this is g so now the activity g is completed next we have to draw the activity h the activity h m uh, the predecessor for h is g and f so this act, the g and h f are the predecessors for h so the starting node for h will be this node because g and h f are the predecessors h has to start from here we have to check for the ending node for h for which we should check in this list whether h has appeared with any activity which has been already completed so if we check for that h has appeared here it has appeared along with the activity c so the ending node of c the activity c will be the ending node of h so now this is the starting node for h and the uh, ending node for activity c is here so it should end here so i should draw uh, an arrow diagram in this direction so instead what i am going to do i am just going to extend this c activity so that i can uh, make it easier so i am extending this activity uh, till here so this is activity c so so if you see here this is activity c that is why i am asking to draw a rough diagram always activity c now it has become easy for us to draw h so this is activity h i will explain you once again now we have to draw the activity h for which the predecessor are g and f so g and f so the starting node for activity h will be this node now we have to search for the ending node for which we have to check in this list whether h has appeared yes it has appeared here it has appeared along with the activity c so the ending node of activity c will also be the ending node of h so h started here and this was the ending node of activity c and so the ending node of h is also this so we have completed activity h also next finally we have the activity i and the predecessor for i is c and h so c and h are here so i can draw an activity like this so this will be the activity i so and it is the ending activity so this should be the final activity which means after this there will be no arrow diagram okay so this is the end node for the complete activity so this is activity i which is emanating from c and h and um, next is activity j emanating from b so uh, activity b is here it has to emanate from here and i already we have circled it i told it this is also the ending activity so this sh this should be the ending node so we have to join these two and this is activity j so this is how we have to draw the network diagram now after this is a rough diagram we can draw it very fairly neatly with the help of a scale and all this uh, drawn legibly so now we will name the nodes so this is node 1 node 2 node 3 and uh, here it, this node appears first so node 4 after that this node so 5 then 6 and then 7 and then we have the node 8 so there are totally 8 events and these are the activities so hope you have understood how to draw the network diagram when the alphabets are given in our next problem i will be teaching you when the alphabets are given with a symbol lesser than to indicate the successor and the predecessor so let us use this symbol and uh, the question will be asked when we have such problems how to uh, solve such problems i will show show tell explain you in uh, in my next video so Uh, we shall uh, see how how we have to draw the network when the lesser sign given uh, sign are given with the alphabets thank you